So recently I had two machines with field dosing issues. The first one was a John Deere 350 with a 6090 or a nine liter engine. The second one was a Deere 470 with a 13.5 or 6135 engine. So I read a lot of the theory and I kind of got a really good understanding of this. So I figured I would share that in this video. So just to start out, this is based on the John Deere theory, but basically all engine manufacturers use the same setup, except of course Caterpillar. Caterpillar uses what's called an ARD head and it's a totally different setup, which we're not gonna go into on this video. I did link a video from Adept Ape. He did a really good video about the cat ARD system and all that stuff. Um, Adept Ape, he does a lot of Caterpillar videos, so he's a great guy. Go follow him if you're not already following him. What is fuel dosing? Fuel dosing is the process of injecting unburned diesel fuel into the exhaust stream to raise the temperature of the DPF. So let's clarify a couple terms here. Just I'm sure we all know what these terms are, but DPF is diesel particulate filter. DOC, diesel oxidation catalyst. Uh, DEF is diesel exhaust fluid. So just really quick, I want to say do fuel dosing is not the same as DEF dosing. It's two totally separate systems. So fuel dosing started on interim tier four engines. So basically any engine that has a factory installed a DPF will use fuel dosing. So even if it has DEF injection, it still uses fuel dosing. It's still, it's two totally separate things. There are two types of fuel dosing, in-cylinder and external. The most engine manufacturers use both styles depending on engine model. The easiest way to tell what type of fuel dosing your engine uses is to look at the outlet of the turbocharger to see if there's a fuel injector there somewhere. If there is, then your engine uses external fuel dosing. In-cylinder fuel dosing is when the ECU or ECM fires the fuel injectors when the cylinder is near bottom dead center, sending a small amount of fuel into the exhaust stream. The engine controller will determine how many cylinders and how much fuel is injected depending on engine load. Although in-cylinder fuel dosing is still used, it's starting to be phased out. Some of the issues with in-cylinder fuel dosing are fuel washing of the cylinder, usually in the cylinders that see it most, which is usually the last two, the last one, last two. Uh, fuel washing is when fuel washes the engine oil off the cylinder walls, causing four main issues. Excessive wear on the pistons and liners, high coolant temp around the affected cylinders, it can lead to higher fuel dilution in the engine oil. Also can lead to turbo issues since the unburned fuel is going through the turbo. Most fuel or more fuel is needed since it has a further distance to travel. Some of the benefits of in-cylinder fuel dosing are no extra parts or systems needed um, because it's all controlled through software. And it can add more fuel just by simply adding more injectors, as where external can't do that because it's a fixed injector. And as far as I know, there's not an engine that uses both internal and external, but hey, if I'm wrong, um, leave me a comment. External fuel dosing has an extra injector usually mounted on the turbo outlet or right next to it. The benefits of external fuel dosing is you don't have cylinder washing. Also, the amount of fuel needed is less. Some of the downfalls to external fuel dosing is you have extra parts, usually an extra fuel pump, an extra injector, a control valve, coolant lines. Also, it has a fixed amount of output because there's only one injector. As where in-cylinder fuel dosing can just add more cylinders. Now that we know the types of fuel dosing, how does it work? During a regeneration, when the ECM determines the DOC temperature is high enough, the fuel will be dosed into the exhaust stream. The fuel will react with the substrate in the DOC causing the DOC outlet temperature to get over 1,000 degrees. This burns the soot in the DPF and turns it into ash. An engine with a DEF system, DEF injection system, will still use fuel dosing for regenerating the DPF. The DEF system, DEF injection, is for removing NOx, as where fuel dosing is used to regenerate the DPF, and DPF is used for lower particulate emissions. That was the definition and how everything works. I was able to film part of that 470 repair, so let's see how that works now. 470G excavator with what appears to be a broken latch. All right, so the codes we have here active. We have 348003 fuel dosing inlet pressure signal 
out of range high. That one's active five times. And we have a 54-5603 fuel dosing inlet temperature signal out of range high. There's a fuel dosing shutoff valve stuck open code that's stored. Fuel dosing inlet sensor desired an actual pressure mismatch and an engine coolant temp code. So let's go look at the engine and let's look at the fuel manifold because these 470s tend to have problems with the engine wiring harness. This is a John Deere 13.5 liter engine. So then let me show you what this uses external fuel dosing because right here is the turbo outlet and it has the external injector right there with the coolant lines. See, and then it injects the fuel right before it goes out to the exhaust. All right, so here's what we're looking at. So this here is the external fuel dosing um, pump. So it's a separate fuel pump, separate fuel line, everything. So then this here is the control valve. Hopefully you can see that. So then this is the temperature and pressure sensor. This is the, this is the, con the fuel shut off valve. You probably can't see that. This one's a fuel shut off valve. This one's the injector. This controls the injector up on the turbo. And then this is the outlet pressure sensor. So it reads the pressure on the outlet. This reads the inlet pressure and temperature. And this just reads the outlet pressure. So this looks like it has a fairly new engine harness on it. The way you can tell it has a fairly new engine harness is it's not painted. Usually they're painted yellow and you can't read any of these numbers. All right, so the active codes, hopefully you can see that, are fuel dosing inlet temperature and fuel dosing inlet pressure, which is this connector right here, which is this connector right here. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to readings. We're gonna do fuel dosing. So I want fuel dosing inlet pressure and I want fuel dosing inlet temperature. So see how they're invalid? So now I'm gonna wiggle those, that connector and see what happens. See how it's moving? It means we have a problem with that, either that connector or the harness. Hopefully you can see that, but there's like breaks in these wires. And when I mess with these wires, it it causes the readings to go all crazy. So there's like, there's a break like right here. There's like two in each wire. It's like the way they twisted it or whatever, it like, it's not making a good connection. So I'm gonna take this apart and see if I can find these pins and then I can repin this. You know, I can cut into here and repin it up to here. Okay, so that video kind of just ended abruptly, but what I wanted to show you here, this is the end of that harness that I cut off. And I don't know, that's maybe about four inches or so, but you can tell, hopefully it'll focus, but there's some broken wires. And it's kind of hard to tell, but focus there. And then like they twist these wires around. See, you can see those twists right there. They just, I don't, they're not twisted pair, but they just, they get twisted around and then they, they break. They're all like that. See, here's another one. There's another one like that. They're like broken. So they get twisted and that one's bare. So I, I repinned it. I made a short little pigtail and it fixed the problem. So then this is the fuel dosing control valve. So this is off of a John Deere 350, but it's basically the same. The only difference is um, the holes are in a little bit different spot. So the way it works is this here is the inlet temperature and pressure sensor. This is the control the fuel shut off valve so this turns on and off the fuel and then this is the injector so this fires here and then it allows fuel to come out of this port which goes up to that injector on the turbo and this is the outlet temp um this is outlet pressure sensor so this just reads outlet pressure and this reads inlet pressure and temperature and then there's just two little holes here there's a hole here and a hole or, uh, excuse me there's a port here and a port here so then the fuel comes in this way, through the shutoff valve, through the sensor, goes up this way, through the injector, and then out through the 
um, the outlet temperature sensor or outlet pressure sensor, excuse me. So this is what it looks like on a John Deere. So this is off of a nine liter, but a 13.5 is very, very similar. 